what is going on guys anger collections in the house so what i have in front of me are my personal collection and i'm trying to like put new sleeves in there because it's been a while man it's been a while uh, i have my two decks over here 293 94 deck and i have my dual lands right here so while i'm doing it i just want to like have a conversation about like as far as like everyone you know you, you've been hearing a lot of people liquidating a lot of their high-end cards which i completely understand if you're trying you know like tough times right now man you know a lot of people are all these vintage reserveless cards you know all these high-end sealed you know reserveless boxes and things like that um and like i said i understand man like like with these uh lands like i have like the uh this three right here from urza saga uh, Sarah Sanctum, I don't know if this one uh, shot up already because uh, enchantment decks are really, really popular right now. So uh, these cards, man, uh, th these are it. I'm telling you, like, especially like the dual lands, the high ends. So these are my complete 40 uh, dual lands. So I got the bad lands right here, uh, Tundra. So all I'm saying is I completely understand why a lot of people are liquidating uh, because times are very tough right now I mean, I don't know if it's gonna get better in the next few years or it's, it's just gonna like you know it's gonna be like this man it's gonna go back to normal um, I'm not quite sure uh, but everyone is liquidating and all I'm trying to say is if you want to sell like these high-end uh, this is my uh, mono black mono black deck um, if you're trying to sell these these cars right now, um, they're very very hard to sell, and as far as like the value, um, they're really down right now. Look at this unlimited IC manipulator, whoo, beautiful. Um, obviously, if you want to get the most out of these, um, the value of these cards uh, in person, hundred percent is it's probably you'll get the most out of it. Um, as far as like buy listing it you, you guys already know that you know buy list is usually like 50 percent even 40 percent and not to mention um they they won't buy all of it look at this a beautiful unlimited dark ritual and if you want to sell it on facebook usually you know um it's it's like tcg player low and then minus 10 15 even 20 percent because like i said man a lot of the market right now shifted to all of these you know high-end uh serialized cards boreless you know a fancy confetti all that stuff you look at this unlimited send your vampire um so that's facebook man and if you want to sell it on ebay or, or tcg player right now i think the value of some of these high-end cards are, are really low man uh like i said the market has shifted to modern and there's there's still market on these but as far as like the, the prices uh they really they're really tank i mean not i don't, don't want to say like completely tank but as as far as like the value from like two three four five years ago it's it's not even close man look at this beautiful mistress factory um beautiful man got maze of it right here so and if you want to sell it on, on ebay and tcg player obviously you're gonna get hit with with a lot of fees man look at this swamps all these foreign cards and we got urborg right in the back so this is my uh kind of like mono black kind of like aggro control um so that's that um and yeah it, it's gonna you're gonna take a hit and like i said these cards right here these are really really hard to to get packed man because once once the market stabilizes all of these will go back and it's gonna be hard to get packed at it you know it's because these are gonna just skyrocket in you know 10 15 20 even 30 years from now uh it's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be insane prices on these high-end alpha beta unlimited look at this beautiful i have a place it of alpha land where else right there so all i'm saying is i completely understand why a lot of people are turning all of their high-end cards into 
um, money to use for you know tough times man uh completely understand it. like for myself if if i ever um start to liquidate some of these um it's gonna be hard for me but if i'm gonna use it to turn it into you know for my business then i you know it's it's understandable because i'm turning into like my business to grow my business so i'm using what i have um but but for others, I completely understand, man. Look at this unlimited psionic blast. And you got um, Serendipa Freed over here. Uh, so I completely understand, man. But like I said, if you ever want to sell all of these, uh, the best bet is definitely going to be in person. Like, I, w I wouldn't, like, sell a Chaos Orb and ship it eBay or TCG Player. That's just me, personal preference. I'd rather just, like, fly or... Like in person, you know, get the money right away. Look at this um, beta soul ring. Look at that beautiful man. I still, I mean, <laughs> I'd rather play this more than the, you know, the masterpiece or the serialized cards. It's just beautiful, man. I'm, I'm an oldie over here. <laughs> you know, I'm an old school guy over here. And as far as like the power nine, man, this is like uh, all the moxes right here. And then you get the three blue cards. Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, Time Twister, and then the big bag, big, look at that, big bad boy, Black Lotus. Um, yeah, right now, TCG player, what, 10, 11, 11,000 for this card right here? Uh, I don't know as far as condition though, but yeah, I'd rather, like, I actually, like the Power 9, this would be the the last nine cards I would ever sell because this is this is the dream man a lot of people are you know not a lot of people have this power nine right here you know I um I've had these uh power nine since 2019 I completed this in 2019 so if I ever gonna sell this uh, most likely it's gonna go back to the business but like I said I'd rather sell all of this first and then keep keep these ones but I don't think that's gonna happen but we will see I, I wouldn't say it ever but like I said, it's so hard to get rid of this, um, like in person for sure. Um, but like n buy list, no way, you know, eBay TCG player, <laughs> absolutely not, man. Um, but yeah, so, um, like I said, uh, a lot of, uh, you've been hearing a lot of people liquidating their high end cars. Look at the city of brass, man. Uh, I got strip mines right here. Um, it's so hard. Look at this library of Alexandria signed by Mark Poole. There you go. Nice, beautiful, right? So I completely understand. But last thing I want to say is these cards, these are it. You know, these are, you know, what you call it. They're not serialized cards. They're not fancy. These are it. If you talk about vintage Magic the Gathering cards, vintage like it the the absolute you know high-end classic you know you're, you're talking about like the old school the best card game ever created by mankind these are it so who knows eventually 10 15 50 100 years man these are it so all right if you're gonna liquidate it that, that's totally fine man if you need the money but these are it man these are definitely it i wouldn't recommend it but i completely understand um, but if you ever try to sell it hands down in person i wouldn't like i wouldn't like sell it to like you know other platforms man but yeah so that is going to be it i just want to like since i'm doing this anyway um i'm sure i'll make a video out of it so yeah that's going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did Please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video. And with that, anger out, boys. Peace.